this video I'm going to take a look at a probability example dealing with AND. We're just going to do a really straightforward um, introduction to it. Um, and because of the way I've written the question, we are going to have to refer back to the OR type of probability as well. I'm assuming that you've already uh, kind of worked with both the ANDs and the ORs on your probability. So just a little note there should take care of that. Alright, so let's say we're doing the probability of A and B. All right, that can be found here. This part of the formula right here is the probability that B occurs given that A does occur, and then times the probability of A. And then we can also switch this around. This is the probability that A occurs given that B does occur times the probability of B. Now, if the um, events are independent events, independent events are when one event does not affect the other one. Okay, so then your probability of A and B would be the probability of A times the probability of B. All right, now in this one example here that I'm going to work out, um, we have an example of the independent events here. We've got rolling a dice and um, draw, drawing some cards. Okay, so clearly they are independent events because one event does not affect the other one. So I want to know what the probability is of rolling a number less than or equal to 3 and drawing a heart or a 4. Okay, so I'm going to focus on the dice first. Alright, so um, less than or equal to 3 on a dice, that would be 3 possibilities. Alright, over the 6 possibilities on the dice total. Alright, times the probability of getting either a heart or a 4. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and put some square brackets in here at this times this quantity right here. All right, now for probability of OR, we need the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. All right, so the probability of getting, say, a heart, well, there are 13 hearts in a deck of cards, so that would be 13 out of 52. All right, plus um, there are four fours in a deck, so that would be 4 out of 52. All right, and then minus, well, what's the probability of getting um, a 4 of hearts? Well, there is one 4 of hearts, so that would be 1 over 52. Okay, at this point, putting this all together and reducing to lowest terms, you're going to get 4 thirteenths, so I'm going to have a 3 sixth times a 4 thirteenths, and I think that turns out to be like, say, a 12 over 72, and if you reduce that to lowest terms, you're going to get 2 thirteenths. All right, so definitely just a straightforward example of independent events. All right, uh, mainly just kind of re-going back over those formulas for and, and then touching on the ors since there was an or portion in this problem. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.